everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today there's another green day. I saw the S&P has increased about 1.7%, and uh, so the leading stock are the tech stocks, and they increased like more than 2%. And right now, when I look at the tech stock, like already I, uh, although I invested in Facebook and IRBT, and uh, if there, there are some other stock in the tech industry to invest. I just feel like the price level is too high right now, so I figured I would look at some other industries. And recently, since I just moved to a new place, I found like uh, surprisingly I've accumulated so much makeup during the years, and I discovered that I really spend a lot of money on like skincare and makeup. So today I want to talk about the, the stock that is related to the beauty industry, which is Alta Beauty. The ticker symbol is ULTA. So Alta Beauty uh, is, I think it's the US largest beauty specialty store, and uh, along with its competitor Sephora, they are two, like the only two of the beauty specialty store in US. and. Uh, other competitors, they are not the single store, but they are just a com uh, like uh, de apartment department stores or drug stores. So uh, I think there are some pros and cons of the Alta Beauty stock. So I will like combine with uh, fundamental analysis as well as the financial analysis. The first advantage of Alta Beauty is it created the one-stop shop experience. That is. They are the middleman between the vendors and the end consumers. So, uh, if a consumer want to buy some uh, beauty or self care uh, product, they can just go to Alta Beauty and buy all the all of the products without like going to different stores. So, the I recently discovered that this kind of platform business model are like one of very successful in the industry. Like if there's a platform uh, that combines all sort of vendors so that will enable the consumers uh, and uh, uh, to buy anything they want and uh, that, that is very profitable. So one of the examples is Amazon. So Alta Beauty is like Amazon but in the beauty industry and they also have a physical store. So uh, for the one-stop shop, you may also uh, say that their competitor Sephora is doing the same thing. And I think Alta Beauty's uh, advantage is their, uh, they have a variety of price range, so you can get a like, very low price, very, very valued product, uh, like the drugstore product, as well as some high-end and luxury products. So there's a variety of range you can choose from rather uh, than Sephora where usually they provide luxury luxury brands. So if people want to save money, they, they may not be able to do that in Sephora. And the second con I think is uh, according to the recent news, uh, Neiman Marcus and uh, JP, uh, JCPenney has gone bankruptcy. I think that also brings opportunities to Alta Beauty since the previous shoppers at Neiman Marcus and uh, Alta Beauty, if they are looking for specific uh, skincare, hair product, or uh, fragrance, they, they may want to go to some other substitute stores. So <laughs> Alta Beauty will, will be one of them. And uh, the third cons of the uh, company is, as I mentioned, so compared with one of the biggest competitors, Sephora, uh, the price uh, is, every product price is like on the lower side. So during the current situation of economic downturn, I think people tend to save money. So that will create opportunities for Alta. So now let's talk about some of the disadvantages of the company. So one of the cons is that uh, as recently the economic shutdown and uh, a lot of the stores are closed. I believe uh, Alta Beauty also closed all of its physical store. So the sales will definitely be affected during the first quarter. And uh, 
but this shutdown will be temporary and I believe they will reopen soon so uh, in the long term it would be not have that much impact and uh, the second cons is uh, recently there's the trend of some like new brand in the makeup or the skincare areas like Colourpop uh, and also Glossier and also another uh, some other brands and uh, those small brands has created a big buzz in the social media and uh, that would also drive like uh, a lot of customers away from Alta Beauty and uh, certainly uh, I think the trend is uh, kind of hard to predict so there's uh, some potential risk that if Alta Beauty could not capture the heart of the consumers some of the customers will go to other places for their for their purchase incredible that was could you i know i mean i'm gonna brag for you most people couldn't make that adjustment in a quarter you did it uh how much better the margins of skincare are pretty good aren't they well sure they are and i give a lot of credit to my team you know we're always out learning about what's hot and what's happening in beauty Skincare, and as you mentioned, Fabrizio is an expert in knowing global beauty trends. It's been a trend for some period of time. So we've been participating. We do services in our in every Ulta Beauty store, as you know, from hair care to skin services, makeup and brow services. And we've been adding a tremendous number of new innovative brands. And what's cool about skincare is new rituals are being formed. You know, things like masks and serums that didn't exist many years ago. And as I said, younger people starting, women my age and older men, in the skincare category, so it's a really great business to be in. After looking at the fundamental of the company, I do think they are the company that have a very unique strategy and they targeted the women or teenage girls that are very uh, passionate about, about skincare or uh, the makeup area, or they are like really willing to explore new things. And uh, I do believe they create value for both vendors as well as uh, uh, and customers. And they do have some advantage, advantages as some I mentioned before. And uh, I just uh, think about another, another one is that they have some uh, Alta exclusive products, which, which means you cannot get those products in other places. Like, uh, I remember I saw the um, Eat Cosmetics. They have the brush, brush set that is exclusive and they, the brush has uh, good quality. And they also have some uh, collaboration like with Kylie Jenner's uh, pr uh, makeup, which is quite hot. And also I realized that Alta Beauty uh, nowadays have more uh, international beauty products like some of the Korean products I like, like Tony Molly, uh, Cos RX, and uh, uh, Momanda products, which cannot be found in other other stores in the U.S. And I think their global view has definitely add a unique touch to their store. So I also look at their financial data, and uh, I saw they have seven billion revenue uh, in 2019 when compared with uh, Sephora, which is just uh, 5 billion. Uh, although, as I mentioned, I feel like the average price of the Alta Beauty's product is lower than Sephora, but um, for from the consumer perspective, uh, I think if the consumer thinks the price is low, they tend to buy more of the product, and in the end, they actually spend more money than Sephora. And I think that's uh, a good strategy is to make makes the consumer think they enjoy a discount and then they up and them to contribute more to the revenue. So the current stock price of Alta Beauty is 2013 and the lowest in a 52 weeks high I believe is around 130. So uh, the current PE ratio is 17. Uh, so that means their stock price is relatively cheaper. And the 4P ratio is 27, meaning that their stock price will probably increase uh, in the future. Uh, but for me, I, I don't think I will buy in the stock right now because uh, I think there's definitely some other 
uh, investment opportunities like with the company's potential growth rate as well as like they that currently don't uh, pay out dividends anymore but I think if the stock price uh, drop uh, in near future, I'm very interested in buying for maybe when it's drop at the uh, price about 170, it's like the price one year ago. I, I would be very interested to buy the stock and hold it for a long time because I truly believe uh, the company provide value to the customers. And uh, as you can see during the year, I, I have a lot of uh, makeup products and uh, as a consumer I feel like after I I have purchased those products I feel very very pleased and very satisfied yeah so that's all my thoughts about Alta Beauty uh, thank you for watching and uh, I hope you find it uh, informative as I'm like talk about some products from a user especially for me a heavy user's perspective and uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.